Listen, kid, I reckon I've got a bit more experience in these situations than you. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me. Oh, stop it. Just stop it. There's a way to solve this. We vote. Majority rules. So whoever thinks we should leave, put up your hand. We've been here for days and nothing's changed. So maybe the best thing is to try something different. I'm sorry, but I want to go home. I've told you what I'm doing, okay? If you don't like it, just... Jack, please, I'm your father, okay? And if you think that I'm going to just stand here and watch you die... Just go, Dad, just go! I'm sorry for dumping all of this on you. No, oh, don't be sorry. I'm here to help. It's just, it was just a shock seeing the video. Seeing Martha. Mm. She looks so happy. So beautiful. This is where we're meant to spend together. That's where I feel close to her. Yeah, I understand that. I really do. Right now, your, your health is the important thing. Important to who? To me and to your family. They're really worried about you. Especially your dad. All right, if it makes them feel happier, I tell them to send the medication here. You need more than that. You need to go to hospital. <gasps> Tash, don't argue, please. <sighs> well, so the immunosuppressants make him vulnerable to the slightest infection, and thanks. Then there's his anti rejection meds. If he stops taking those, He's our liver could pack it in. What can you do, mate? It's his choice. Dan, love, how are you? With everything that's been happening, I've hardly had the chance to even speak to you about Peter. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Thanks. I hear the police want to give him a memorial service. Yeah, if you'll shown some interest. Yeah, well, love. Everybody wants to show how well respected he was in the community. Thanks. Well, that's because they're so grateful. You are. Has anyone heard anything yet? No, not yet. I wanted to know your opinion. I've been thinking of a way to commemorate our lost loved ones, and I wanted to know what you thought of a morning tea. Excuse me? Well, I thought it was a good way of everyone coming together to talk about them, you know, tell stories. I thought it might help ease the pain. My children are still alive, and so are the others. Well, no, I didn't mean that they're not. I just thought it might be a good... And they're going to be found, and when they are, they're going home. Beth, I didn't mean that they're not. I, I, we we I haven't given up hope. Sorry. Jack, that's it. We've got to take you to the hospital. I told you. Sit down. Look, it's not just the medication. You need proper care. I'm not going. Why won't you let me help you? For... So that you don't catch an infection, so your body doesn't reject your liver, so that you don't die. You've given up, haven't you? Jack, you can't. Why not? Because Martha's okay. She is. All of them are. Look, even if you don't come home, you still have so much to live for. Like what? Like your family and your job. And me and the baby. Remember last week I almost panicked myself into premature labour and it's because of you that my baby's safe. Because you were there for me. I need you through this. I can't do it alone. We need you. Lynch mob. Come in. You okay? Well, apart from feeling like a complete idiot, you mean? You don't have to feel like an idiot. But it was supposed to be a way of bringing people together to help them cope with what's going on. Yeah, I know. And look, Beth didn't mean what she said. Well, not really. 
Uh, it was a stupid thing to suggest anyway. A cup of tea and some cake isn't going to help anyone right now. What was I thinking? Look, no one blames you for not wanting to be alone at the moment. It's your child out there too. And now I may have lost her. Without even getting the chance to get to know her. I deserve. What do you mean? Well, I've made some selfish choices, Dan. I've done some terrible things in my time and... Maybe losing Belle is my punishment. Let's take a breather. One mouthful each. Have a plan of where we're headed? If we continue in this direction, it'll put us under the most likely flight path of the search. Yes, but we're heading into denser bushland. Aren't we better off going that way where there are probably more openings? If we want to be sighted from yeah, above... Pretty big, probably. And even if you're right, being in an opening isn't going to help us very much if there are no choppers over here, is it? Well, neither is walking through such thick scrub that a chopper couldn't even spot us even okay, if it was a up ahead. No, look, I'm right. I don't know why we are following this guy like sheep. Because I know what I'm talking about, sunshine. I'm not just talking out of my backside. Well, have we got a problem? Hey, stop it, both of you. This isn't helping. Wasted. Have you had enough of a break? Well, let's push on, dead ahead. Come on, come this far. Keep it together. Yeah, I'm trying. There are no signs of infection, and your anti-rejection levels are still good. Oh, it sure is. You were lucky, Jack. Any longer and it might have been a different story. I know this is a difficult time, but I'd hate for you to waste the opportunity for a donation. I know, and thanks. He looks after himself, don't worry. I think that's what you call a slap on the wrist. No. <laughs> well, can you blame them? Yeah, I wasn't thinking straight. No, of course you weren't. Not after everything that happened. Main thing is that you're here, though, and that you're OK. Yeah, thanks to you. Yeah, I'm just doing for you what you did for me last week. Uh, I guess it makes us even. Yep. Mm. Well, I hear young Jack gave you a bit of an earful. You're here to finish it, are you? No, nothing like that. Just want to let you know not to take it too seriously. He's been late everyone lately. He even got stuck into his old man. He's right to hate me. He and Martha both are. Well, Martha was a bit different, I'll grant you that. And you weren't exactly at the top of my Christmas card list either. How come you're still talking to me? You did a really good job getting people out of that fire, you know, including Jack. And you kept an eye out for young as well. I reckon you're heading in the right direction. Just keep going that way, Andy. Helps you? Yeah. Ah, Walt Middleton. Police headquarters. Oh, good day. Well, yeah, we've spoken on the phone. What's happening? Uh, yes, uh, somewhere we could... He is as good as anywhere. Have you found something? This is Beth Hunter. Two of her kids are missing and Macca's sister's missing as well. Oh, I'm sorry. This is never easy. Um, that's why I wanted to come personally. Tell us what? Uh, rescue operation's been underway for over a week now. And there's been no sighting of wreckage survivors. And they need all available emergency personnel and police. Well, none of us are getting any younger. Can you get to the point? We've reluctantly come to the conclusion that a positive outcome here is unlikely. We've therefore decided officially to call the off from nightfall tonight. You can't just give up, not without knowing one way or the other. Well, the chance of finding anyone alive after all this time is virtually nil. We can't just keep searching. But it's only been a week. You read about people surviving in the bush much longer than that. Look, I'm sorry. I know this is very distressing. and Believe me, it's not an easy decision to have to make. What do you need to keep looking? Is it money? We can find it. No, it doesn't work like that, Mrs Hunter. The uh, emergency services aren't for hire. We're answerable to the government. Walt's well, right. We can't expect for the search to just keep going on forever, particularly with the bushfires down south. Alf, we can't hang just on, keep hang on, hang on a minute. What if you were to point us in the right direction, you know, with, with advice, contacts? What would be to stop us from continuing the search as a community, you know, with private funding? Well, in theory, nothing, but it'd be pretty expensive. How expensive? Well, for a private search and rescue, you'd be looking at 50 grand a day. 50,000. I'm really sorry, folks. This is out of my hands. There's nothing I can do to help you. Be able to see something from up here. Oh yeah. 
Like what, more trees? Come on, we have been walking for hours and we're not...